Hey, this is David and Amy Vender with the Vender Group, serving all your real estate needs in the South Metro Atlanta area. Please, if you enjoy our tour videos and our other videos, like and subscribe. Please. <laughs> so today we're doing a tour of the industrial village of Peachtree City. The industrial <laughs> village. So it's officially not a village, uh, but we're going to treat it that way for today's tour. So we're fortunate in Peachtree City to host a lot of large companies. And as part of the planned community concept where we live, work and play in the community. This area has got a airport. We've got Falcon Field, a lot of large companies such as Panasonic, Avery, Cooper Lighting, and we have a huge athletic complex. So we're going to explore all of that today. And some more. Let's go take a look. Now, this is not one of the uh, most exciting ways to start off a, a tour, but just across, and when I take, when I turn, it'll be on our left, is a area where you can go and buy mulch and topsoil and rocks, and they will just sell it to you by the yard, dump it in your truck, or dump it in your trailer. And over on our right is one of the many golf cart dealerships. Uh, we're unique here in Peachtree City. We do not have a car dealership, but we have a multitude of golf cart dealerships, and that's because... The golf carts are very important to Peachtree City residents. If you watched one of our other videos, they are used a lot of times in place of a car, but we have over a hundred miles of multi-use paths and you can get anywhere in all of Peachtree City from village to village with a golf cart. Coming up on our right is Lion Creek Brewery. This opened about five years ago. A uh, few businessmen uh, brought over a brewmaster from Ireland and they have been well received here and it's going great. So uh, they have two uh, beers that have been very popular around town. Uh, one is First Crush, uh, which is an IPA. It happens to be my favorite. They also have Maverick, which is a lager, which is probably their biggest selling beer. Yeah, and they have several others. Most of them are pretty clever names, <laughs> and uh, they have a lot of fun with the marketing, but uh, they don't serve food there, so they instead typically have food trucks that come. But the neat thing is, because they don't sell food, they allow you to bring food in. So we see people bring in pizzas, picnics, charcuterie boards, you name it. Uh, they have no problem with you bringing that in. If you're not a beer lover, they do have seltzers, and of course they have the typical sodas and bottled waters that you can get there. Uh, but it's very atmospheric. Uh, if you don't want to eat inside or um, drink inside, they have a, a cool deck area actually with a fire pit, uh, picnic tables are out there. They've had to kind of expand with the picnic tables because they are pretty busy on the weekends, pretty swamped, and they have bands come in as well. Yeah, if you want to go there on a Friday or Saturday night, you might want to show up a little bit early so you can actually get a parking spot and some place to sit down. Not that we spend a ton of time over <laughs> at the pub, but we do like it. Next coming up on our right is a Better Way Ministry. Uh, this is a ministry for uh, young men who have had addiction problems. They do have a moving company as well as some other companies there, uh, but it's teaching these men some life skills. We have personally used the moving company and several of our clients have over the years as well. And they have a large thrift store there that a lot of people will go get used furniture, uh, you know anything that you can get at a thrift store but it's it's a nice nice size so as we're uh going through this uh four-way stop it's actually a spot where we spend a lot of time on a regular basis yeah i hadn't really thought about it till you said that but we we come here quite a bit so um they have m and uh, which is uh mike and rich local uh print shop there we go there for all of our um real estate uh business printing that we need to have done they're wonderful right next to that is mimi's cafe if we have a client from out of town uh from the northeast from out of the country we have we have international clients as well and they have never had a southern breakfast this is where we bring them to 
Yeah, it's not fancy at all. It is just hometown cooking. Mimi, half the time, is back there on the griddle. Um, they have great coffee, but it's it's very busy on um, mornings. You typically are going to have to wait for a table or a booth. Even in the middle of the week. Yes. And next to that is happy time grooming and boarding. And we have two dogs ourselves. We have a little Shizu uh, who's 13 years old. We call him the grumpy old man. Uh, and he's grumpy because we introduced him to a 90 pound golden doodle during COVID. So uh, they take care of both our dogs grooming yeah. there. And they also do boarding. They'll do day camps as well. And right next to them is one of the premier CrossFit uh, facilities in town. And I should probably go in there and spend some time. Yes, Rick uh, and Jen Thompson own that. They are local Peachtree residents, and they uh, do a great job. They have a, a large staff, and sometimes when we're taking the dogs to the groomer or going to Mimi's, you can see some of them uh, even out in the parking lot uh, doing different exercises. So next coming up on our left is CubeSmart. This is where we actually have a storage unit. We have a 15 foot by 30 foot storage unit because we do staging for all of our listings. We have a lot of artwork, a lot of knickknacks, and it is a chore to keep it properly organized, but this is where we do it. Teresa tries to help us there. <laughs> and then next coming up on our right is one of the holes for Plantera Golf Club. This is a premier uh, golf club. It is part of Club Core. If you are a member of another Club Core facility, you can generally go to all of them with an exception of this one. This one is an exclusive. It costs a good bit more to become a member. Uh, but what happened was there were some uh, golfers who wanted to be able to just walk up get on the course play and they made this an exclusive course for people who don't mind spending a little bit more but want the convenience of playing whenever they want and this just happened recently so this has been in the last couple of years um, actually since the pandemic started and uh, they shut down for a while so that they could redo the pool redo the dining area um, it's pretty much a new club there but as Dave mentioned uh, Club Corps has several uh, country clubs in the area so this Plantera Golf Club is just one of four in the Peachtree City area. So we're coming up on another one of the holes on our right and if you look kind of far back you can get a glimpse of Lake McIntosh and that's where we're going next. Uh, we have three lakes in town. Lake McIntosh is the newest one. It is fed by Lion Creek and in fact you can hike around Lake McIntosh Go over to uh, Lion Creek, hike up all the way to the Lion Creek Nature Center over on Highway 74. So Lake McIntosh, a lot of uh, the Peachtree City residents love to go kayaking, canoeing. You'll see that uh, this is has been used for uh, triathlons that are hosted in Peachtree City. It's a beautiful area. They do make it easy on people. They have public restrooms. They have covered pavilions so people can go and have a picnic. Birthday parties, graduation parties have been hosted in that area. You have a gazebo. I've gone to a couple graduation parties where they even had it there. As we're leaving uh, Lake McIntosh, you can see over on our right is Falcon Field. Uh, Atlanta International Airport is often one of the busiest airports in the world. Uh, and as you can imagine, a lot of those employees live here in Peacher City. A lot of the pilots, a lot of the mechanics. This is an aviation town. In fact, the Atlanta Air Show occurs right here at Falcon Field. Uh, this year, 2022, we have the uh, Navy Blue Angels. We often have the Air Force uh, Thunderbirds. We've even had the Canadian Snowbirds. They put on a beautiful show as well. It also has a Warbird Museum and we have one of the uh, last flying uh, Mustangs as well as a Corsair and every once in a while when you're working in the yard you can see them flying above and have a, a little air show on a Saturday afternoon and you can even pay for rides in that Mustang. So as Dave mentioned we are uh, located uh, conveniently to Hartsfield International Airport and because of that, 
Um, a lot of uh, large businesses have made Peachtree City their home. Uh, when the industrial area was developed, it was the goal to have non-polluting industry. But we have a lot of large corporations such as Panasonic, Hoshizaki, Avery, Cooper Lighting. I'm just naming a couple. Um, there's over a hundred, I believe, that uh, are in the area. So this lends to uh, the work, live, and play all in Peachtree City. We've had many clients uh, who have gotten jobs at one of those corporations, bought a home here in Peachtree City, and even was able to uh, then commute to work via golf cart and really enjoy the full Peachtree City lifestyle. How nice is that? So we are coming up on the Peachtree City Athletic Complex. And this is a beautiful area. Uh, it's over 86 acres and you've got six soccer fields back there, nine uh, lit baseball fields. You've got a uh, field of hope, which is, it's actually called the Fayette Field of Hope, but um, that's just a really neat complex. So this was developed for children with disabilities uh, because of the wheelchairs and things like that. They need a special type of turf surface. So uh, local residents raised money for this. Uh, there's stories of even children for their birthday parties. Instead of having kids give them gifts, they raised money uh, for this particular complex. So um, that is so neat. Uh, there's four concession stands. You've got restrooms, of course. And then tucked behind that is a mountain bike park, uh, which is a three mile single track and multi-use uh, natural trail system and um, that is open from dusk to dawn every day of course the athletic complex that is for scheduled events only as we leave the athletic complex and almost immediately across the street on the left is the MOBA facility. Uh, this is if you have somebody in your family that is a soccer player and they want to have some first class coaching, this is the place to go. They have uh, former Olympic athletes. You can go and train with them. So I hope you liked our tour of the industrial village of Peachtree City. If you have any questions or any interest in uh, the South Metro Atlanta area, uh, give us a call, send us an email, send us a text, and we'll get right back to you. Thanks so much for joining us on this tour.